defending champion for 2015. Keeping our eyes on the inside of the track with Molly Seidel. And then on the outside of the track, they're far out in position 16, the freshman phenom out of Boise State, Allie Ostrander, who has just exploded onto the American distance running scene this season. 16 total runners in this race, as is pretty much the case in every race. The top 16 qualified to come to Birmingham to contest these NCAA championships, and Molly Seidel wastes, wastes no time going out to the lead. I can tell you, Aaron Finn is plenty annoyed by what was going on there. It appeared as though team tactics were being somewhat employed. Uh, Anna Rohr was, was uncomfortably close to Aaron Finn, and there was a lot of pushing. Look at Aaron Finn as her balance is all off. She's wasting a lot of energy and a lot of core strength. Now Molly Seidel has managed to gap Aaron Finn a little bit, and I believe that that is a direct result of that early energy that she had to expend, along with the 72-6 that uh, Molly Seidel threw in. That'll do it to you as well, and knowing that Seidel has much more left in the tank, but Finn has now dropped off. I want to say it's about a 10 to 12 meter gap, and very close behind now, number 11, that is Liv Westfall. So easily a 30, 45 meters. meter lead by Seidel as she comes around for the last lap, 200 meters remaining. Finn does look solidly in second, but just could not withstand a couple of those surges that Seidel threw in. Seidel making a move on the turn there, so she has a clear path in the straightaway. And keep in mind, guys, we're going to see more of her tomorrow in the 3K. Seidel is going to just come short of lapping her teammate. Anna Rohr really worked hard early on in those team tactics that they employed against Aaron Finn. And Seidel coming all around for the victory just as she's lapping her teammate. 15 minutes and 15 seconds, superb time. And that puts her seventh on the fastest performers in the world this year in the women's 5,000 meters.